This week I'll be taking a break from scrapping and focus more on sorting. The reason for that being the vast amount of bulk bricks I have lying around. You can see here I have a bunch of filler bricks, 2x4s, 2x6s, the ones you usually see on the insides of mocks. I purchased these at Brick World Chicago. As I showed in the first episode of this series, I also have a massive pile of pieces underneath my building table. This is also full of those bulk bricks, and the main reason that I need to get these sorted out so that I'll have more room underneath this table. In this pile, I also have a significant number of these 6x6 dark bluish gray plates. A lot of these have tiles or jumpers on them from previous mocks, so I'll need to separate those first before sorting them. I also have an entire separate box full of plates that have tiles on them. Some of these date all the way back to my Allerus Prime mock. These also need to be separated and sorted appropriately. Let's get started. After digging through the parts on the ground, I was able to come up with this pile of filler bricks right here, as well as these 6x6 plates over there. Although I wasn't intentionally looking for them, I came across quite a few 2x3 and 2x2 bricks. I put these in a separate bin because I typically don't use these for filler. I have quite a ways to go with separating these tiles and plates, as I forgot how long it truly takes to do this process. I'll be giving an update on my progress next episode. The 2x2 tiles and 6x6 plates each have their respective bins, with the 6x6 one having a larger bin since they take up a larger surface area. The fill brick that I sorted out from the pile on my floor and the fill brick that I picked up from Bricks and Minifigs during Brick World Chicago will be both stored into this empty Lego box. My preferred method when sorting a large pile of bricks is to search for specific elements as I did in this episode with the 6x6 plates and the filler bricks. This is more efficient than grabbing a handful of bricks and sorting those individually because you have in mind what you're looking for and you don't have to pull out as many sorting trays at once. I'll continue to use this method in the coming weeks as I tackle sorting the rest of this pile in addition to scrapping more sets. One last thing is a follow-up from last episode. I know a lot of you were frustrated when I showed uh, the little bit about throwing away those stud shooters. For those of you who've stuck around my channel for a while, you may know that I would never throw away any Lego in a million years. So yes, I did not actually throw those away. That was just for a funny bit at the end of the video. As many of you mentioned, those studs included with the stud shooters are great for uh, different water techniques with mocks. So I'll definitely be saving those as well as saving the actual stud shooters themselves. Who knows, maybe I'll come up with an interesting technique for those. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my channel for some other awesome LEGO videos, and have a great day.